today's Dish in It is sponsored by Price Cutter, local matters. Welcome to Dish in It. Today, guys, we're making homemade eggnog. Have you ever, have you ever done that? Never and in my na, life. Na, 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 na. Never. I was like, why do I make egg eggnog when I go buy it at the store? <laughs> well, you know, and that's right. But here's the thing. Usually, when you drink eggnog, it is chilled. Mm -hmm. We're not going to have time for that. We're going to. You know what? Maybe I like it better if it's warm. We're going to be drinking it warm. I'm, I'm all about that. I'm, all right. I'm happy with that, actually. All right, so we will try that. Now, Jeremy, I asked you before we started here if you were a good egg cracker because we just need the yolk. Um, I typically am at home, but watch me mess it all up. I'm not today. trying to put pressure on you. There's pressure now. I'm not me. trying to put any pressure, and you've got an extra bowl over there. So for the whites, you just need the yolks in here. Yeah, we're gonna put the yolks in okay. there. And you need six of these. You need six. What of happens eggs. if I mess up? We don't have any oh, spare eggs. Oh, we don't. So you can't mess up. Okay. No pressure, but okay. Yes, and we're gonna switch out our pot. And we got a, We got a pot. We got a pot. There we go. Thanks, in. Kylie. Right, we're gonna use that. Thank you. There you go. Okay. There we go. All right. So okay, there we go. Okay, here I go. And. I'm going to just stand here and watch you. No pressure. No pressure, but so oh, far so good. Oh, so far so good. Okay. <laughs> I'm only on one of six, though, Cal. All right, you, you can do it. You can do it. Um, so what goes, goes in, well, you're going to put it in this bowl, and then we're also going to do one half cup of sugar, which I'm going to get together right okay. now. And by the way, the one we're making today, Cal, does not have any alcohol. No, correct? it doesn't. And honestly, I know very little about that as far as what kind of alcohol that would go in. We did joke about it, and... I really don't know what kind of alcohol would. Be. Um, our our producer Jake was saying rum, whiskey, brandy, brandy, and I was thinking earlier. I don't know why, like uh, a Bailey's or an Irish cream Ooh. would be nice in that too. Okay. But and our director Natalie says rum chata, which is also a great suggestion. Now here's the thing though. Yeah. Usually I feel. Here's my thoughts. Now if you're okay. at a holiday party, I'm gonna go ahead and party, put this Okay, in. perfect. One half. If you're at the party. One of the things that makes eggnog bearable is the alcohol. Now you're now, gonna find out today whether it's bearable or not because it's got no alcohol in it today. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start doing this while you're doing that. Um, so I'm taking my time because I don't wanna mess it up. No, I know, you're doing good. I'm just gonna, yeah, it's all good. Look at that, look at the vibrance in that egg there. Oh gosh, here we go. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, you're looking at the recipe right there. Right, is the recipe. It's pretty simple actually. Um, all now, right. tell me what spices are in it, though. Okay, it nutmeg and basically cinnamon on top. That's basically it. Nutmeg and cinnamon, that's it? I would figure there'd be a smorgasbord. A little bit of salt, um, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Now, it says in this saucepan, we are going to combine cream, nutmeg, uh, salt, and milk. It's calling for one cup heavy whipping cream and two cups of milk. All right, so I'm gonna See, go you ahead. had me at heavy whipping cream. I'm fine oh, with that. Oh, I know, I'm with you on that. So I am we're gonna fine. do two cups of milk in here. Whoa, that is Gosh. warm, okay. Wait, is that pot already warm? Is that skillet on? I, I, didn't, I mean, the on. burner, I didn't even see that. So that's why it surprised me. All right, so we wanna make sure, all right, in a saucepan over medium heat, cream, milk, nutmeg, and salt. Stir until it is a little bit of a simmer. So Kelly, would eggnog be a beverage you would go to in the holiday season? I'm curious, like, do you enjoy eggnog? Mm -hmm. I have tried it. You know, it's pretty sweet. It's it's a uh, it's a little bit too sweet for me. I'll be honest. I typically do not like beverages that are um, milk based. Oh well, I'm it's with texture. you. On, yeah, you know, it's texture. a consistency and. I'm with you on that. Yes. Oh goodness gracious! This I'm will not turn this come down a little bit. It says medium heat, but we're heating up pretty well here. All right, so we are going to do a pinch of salt in here. And a pinch of salt is a little bit different for everybody, but I'm going to put it in my hands first. That makes it easier. Well, that comes out so fast. You so got to, fast, you you got got to, to monitor to. that. And we're going to put, um, we're going to put the, um, where is the nutmeg? One half teaspoon. It goes in here. How you doing over there? I'm doing great. I just really want, I'm trying to do a good, there we go. I'm doing, okay. trying to do a good job. All right. I so like far, one left. One left, guys. All right. You're doing good. What is your go-to holiday drink if you're at a party? Would it be like a cider? Yeah. Like a hot cider would be great. I, I think that'd be delicious. That would be good. I just, I'm so boring. I would just do like a, a dry red wine. Oh, really? Yeah, you, yeah. But if they had, uh, like let's say they had a wassail. Oh, oh. my friend Lyra makes a really good um, glut, glutwein. It's a German wine. It's warm. It's kind of like a cider. Uh, she makes it cider. Made? Yes, oh, it's wow. so good. All right, I can't this. remember what it's called, but she makes it for our holiday get-togethers. 
She it's is so quite good. a cook. Oh, she's amazing. She's quite a cook. I'm getting some good ex exercise here. All right, you are almost done with that. Listen, I'm not getting any whites in there, so. Oh, thank you. I'm doing it properly. There we you go. You are. Okay, I'll let you we did it. take this over. Good job, Jerry. We did it. Now, it says to go ahead and. Can you hand me a rag? Sure. Do you have a rag? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. My oh, hand's wait, a little no, no. eggy. Oh, wait. I got egg all over my hands, not my face. Not on your face. Oh, gosh, all <laughs> of these. Are they all you? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm having a hard time finding <laughs> one. Okay, there you okay, go. Okay, I got one. Adam, there we got one. Go. Sorry. That, those had all. Yeah, we're a little. Okay. So basically, it says you're going to mix that, Jeremy, until yep. it's light and creamy. Well, all right. I saw Julia Child do this. I'm doing like this. That's how she did it. Yes. Well, that's very professional. Now look how. Oh, oh, and mix it up. Oh, okay. So. By the way, I love her. I'm not making fun of her. I love her, and I saw that movie. Julia yes. Julia with yeah. Meryl Streep as Julia Child. Yes, and she's always good. Now look yes. how quickly this is heated up. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are delirious. And it's a good thing. <laughs> Kelly's like, oh, I am over you today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think we have pretty much everything in this. Now later on we add vanilla extract and then we uh, put some ground cinnamon on top. Can I say I'm glad you brought extra vanilla because what if we want more of that vanilla yeah. flavor? Extra extract. Extra extract. Extra. Yeah, exactly. You got it. Now, when this do you is want what this? I was wondering about. What? Okay. what? Tell me. This was my only concern was what? the raw eggs in this. And so this is what oh, I Oh, we can't have a curdle. You're right. No, so what we're it, it there's a plan here. Oh, tell me the yeah, plan. Yeah, there's a Sorry. plan. So okay. a little at a time, I'm going to put this hot milk in here. Yes, perfect. And then this yes. until it's gone, and then we'll put it all back in the pan. Have you seen those cooking shows where all of a sudden they're making something and inside that it's curdled like scrambled eggs? Oh no. Could you imagine? Maybe it? that's why they do it slow. I, they do. You have to do it slow to incorporate oh, the I heat. I do not feel like scrambled eggs. Could you slow. imagine taking a sip of eggnog and you get scrambled oh. eggs? Oh. You know, eggs are another thing. Okay. That's another <laughs> okay, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to incorporate the milk and the eggs, and we're making eggnog, not scrambled eggs. We'll be back. We hope. I hope. But this is very silky and creamy now. Yeah, that's perfect. I mean, I'm surprised that's, how that's creamy really that looks. Good.